Hi everybody, Lisa here from Fireside Strategic. Welcome to our video test, Humanity Builds Better Businesses, where we celebrate leaders who do transformational work within organizations, helping their clients grow and lead teams with humanity. Today, I'm happy to chat with Genevieve Deshotel, a brilliant executive coach, CEO of iLuxy, as well as two other companies. Jen, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm glad to be here and I'm honored also. Thank you. So last time we talked, you told me about a very interesting mission that you have that you bring to your clients through a variety of companies. Would you mind telling us a little bit about this mission, this work you do? Yeah, actually since 2010 now, uh, what I'm trying to do every day of my life, when I ask myself, I can, I, how can I help and how can I serve? the word awareness is coming the word awareness to the workplace the word awareness through leaders who leads team the word awareness in the entrepreneurial uh, world uh in the business you know when we talk about result performance indicators how can we be more aware of who we are what we really really want and how everybody can serve in, with their unique talent. And as a coach, I help them to uh, just push those talent. As an entrepreneur, I lead my team to just figure it out how we can help our clients to do so. <laughs> and uh, of course, as a person, I try to be the best version of myself that I can. And you know, every day it's uh, a new challenge. I love it's that. humanity challenge, as you know. There is so much to unpack in all of that. I love that your starting point is awareness. It's so mindful and it's so universal across the different things that you do. Yeah, yeah, very much. And and I, I started that because um, uh, yes, I I have an MBA. I have that professional professional uh, coach certification. But after that, I've done my yoga teacher training, and of course, uh, link the the presence uh, and the awareness and 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 the, the, this profound listening that we need in coaching with all the teaching that yoga can bring to us putting that together and pushing this into uh the work world or the business world uh i found it very challenging and but because i found it it was and it is still my mission to do so i love it i actually also did yoga teacher training and I think that there's something so interesting about trying to combine, you know, the science of doing business, the strategy, the sales, the legion, all of that hard stuff with mindfulness, with body awareness, with presence. And I think that, you know, similarly to you, it's so difficult, but it's so important because that's what creates the best people, the best leaders and the best companies. Exactly. But you know if we go back to 2010 i was a stranger i was you know that little funky little girl uh who wants to have new ideas and be creative in the workplace but right now especially in 2021 with all the backlash of covid and everything when uh, i i read every day in Harvard Business Review or in another, you know, publication, compassion, uh, you know, listening, how can we uh, manage with mistakes and let the people lead what they can lead. I say, you know what? I think the world is now ready to listen uh, carefully that message about uh, how to be an authentic leader. Absolutely spot on. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about what are your companies and how do you spread this message through entrepreneurship, through the firms that you've built? Perfect. 
The first one is, I will say, a traditional consulting firm where we have consultant, we have coach, and we have trainers who do some, uh, you know, their work into small and uh, large and public and private companies here in Quebec, in Canada, and uh, in Europe also, especially in French and, uh, and in Belgium. This is the first one. Working in that environment since 2010, in 2013, already some of my clients told me, you know, Jen, uh, your program on, you know, five days leadership program, can you just put it in three days? And after that, they say in two days. And after that, they say a half a day. And we don't have that kind of budget. So can you just manage it? Oh, and we don't have any room available in, in our office. So, okay. So I have, I told myself, you know, I can uh, just swim against the wave and say, no, a leadership program needs five days and everything, or I can swim with the wave. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, we have to do something online, but something that is very immersive and interactive that can uh, improve the skills of the people, of the participant, because we will give them the, 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 the <laughs> we'll put them in the driver's seats of, his, of their own simulation, okay? So this is the beginning of Alexi, and we have our learning platform that is now a platform. <laughs> it's not, Congrats. you know, so we do virtual events, we do online professional services, and we still do some immersive and interactive trainings also. This is the second one. And the last one who just uh, came uh, in, in, our, in the pandemic, it's related to ILAXI, but we call it a uh, DUCS exam. And we do some exam online uh, for the corporate world, but of course, for the education for, uh, you know, the students who have to do their exam online. And uh, because we, we understand that we, we have also to put humanity in online exam, you know, the, the, the mission of Dux, it's not only to uh, be sure that no one will be cheating and everything. The, 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 in fact, we want to uh, support students and workers uh, with the technology to be sure that they will be able to give the best of themselves during that exam that it's so important for them. Mm -hmm. So, and, 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 you know, if I come back to Alexi, the mission is to be sure that everyone around the world will be able to have access to education That's an and to continue. Okay. And at Templio Strategy, the first one, it's to be able to help, especially leaders, to uh, build their own uh, skill set to be able to, uh, after that, being uh, the best leader that they can with their workers, with their partners, with their uh, bankers, you know, with, 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 with everything, with, with everyone, actually. That's amazing. I love how agile you are. I like how you began your career, began your entrepreneurial journey working with leaders and consulting questions. And then you started to see more and more of this human element and you converted that to education and then you extended to a different target market. Your journey is very dynamic. Yeah, and, and a lot of people just read my resume, you know, when I do some keynote speeches and they say, oh my God, we're just tired just to read <laughs> her bio. And I say, you know what? Uh, I think because it's my, my life mission and and because you're a yoga teacher i also say my dharma is 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 linked into this i put a lot of energy and sometimes i just feel guilty because i say i have two beautiful girls and i'm the stepmom of two beautiful boys and i say do i miss something and you know what when I feel good, I say no, because they see me very happy. They see me 
at the right place doing the right things for me. And I, I hope that I inspire them to find their own path and they, and they will live their own journey. When I just feel, you know, like everyone, you know, I have those bad days when I say, oh my God, I'm not a good mom. I'm not a good stepmom. I should do their lunch. I should be there, uh, you know, more often and everything. And uh, I say, you know what? It's not me to be in a kitchen. I'm just not good at doing anything in a kitchen. So I think I'm better to serve the world. And my kids just look at me and they will make their own choice uh, during their own life. Well, I think you certainly provide a lot of inspiration. How do you, you know, while running these three companies, while having this big mission and, you know, having a family, how do you prioritize your own health, your own wellness? It's a very good question because, uh, uh, you know, before last November, I would have told you, I just don't know. <laughs> okay. But in November, uh, I just don't know why, why in November, but it happened like that. I just say, I have to have two colors in my agenda. One for uh, activities that are for... Uh, take a, a deep breath in, okay? <laughs> and the other part is to put a deep breath out. So I have some activities that are for me to uh, rejuvenate, rejuvenate uh, you know, myself. And I have, uh, of course, the half of my day and at the end of the week, the half of my week, giving back to others. And uh, in November and December, I would uh, be honest and say that it was 60-40 uh, for others, you know, versus I. But since January, I'm so happy to uh, just realize that I follow that uh, resolution, that objective, that intention uh, to uh, be able to bread in and bread out. and. Uh, just uh, I'm more happy. I'm, you know, I'm more grounded, and uh, I, I expect to do <laughs> the rest of the year on the same pattern. I think that's amazing. I love the way that you described that as breathe in and breathe out, and I think that so many leaders, so many CEOs, feel like they always have to give, 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 and I think with that image of breathing in and breathing out what you show is that you can't breathe out if you don't breathe yeah. in exactly. so you need to do both and i love that you do both yeah but you know just like i told you you know before last november i was giving 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 i said my god i will not be able to do that job and to be as much an inspiration and a, a mirror to for, for other people to find their own light if i don't breathe in you know yeah. i realize that you know i'm i'm already 48 years old and if i want to work uh you know till the end then and i expect to be <laughs> you know a very whole lady <laughs> <laughs> so i have to take care of that bringing in and bringing out system that's right that's right so when you work with clients when you work with people who aren't used to breathing in both through iluxi but also through amplio how do you bring that mindset of self-care to those individuals that are not accustomed to self-care? Yeah, I have to say that COVID helped me mm -hmm. because people uh, are very tired and they realize that especially with the online management and, you know, everything, you know, they are at work from 6 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m., five days in a row and during the weekend. And they arrive at one point where I can have that conversation with them and say, is that the life that you really want? When you look at your agenda, 
okay you know for the past month of the past two weeks you know when when you see that picture that is a the selfie that you want for your life and usually that powerful questions it's followed by a silence and you know as a coach that that silence is so powerful for them after and you know they usually say no it's not the selfie that i want and of course my next question will be what what will be the next step you know i have that epiphany mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, around november last november uh and it was exactly that i look at my agenda and i say you know what there's only one color and that color it's you know doesn't help me on a long shot does you know i always say that the kids my family are my priority where are they in my agenda if it, if they are my priority you know it's it should be at some place in my agenda no but now uh, it's at least two hour and a half per day in my agenda Brilliant. After a client of yours understands this and starts to change their behavior, how does this impact their companies? How does it impact their business? Actually, uh, it's impact their business because they put more vulnerability on the table because mm. they have that conversation with their partners, employee, managers, depending you know their role in the organization. And so they start to have that conversation inside of the organization. And because everyone is able to say, you know what, me too, I don't like the selfie. And, you know, and depending the, you know, the image that they, they use, uh, there's more good decision uh, that they, they, they will take together because they will not be so much tired know yeah and that because we don't take a lot of good decision when 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 we are tired and we know that you know yeah i love that you're bringing that to the companies and it allows you know when leaders are less tired when they're more sharp that's what better companies are built of of course and they can be, you know, they, 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 they can be what we call in yoga, the namaste thing, uh, you know, the, yeah. the, because they, they, the, the light that they show is a mirror of the light that they see and, and everyone in the company can, can just reflect their own light. But when we are so tired, you think that I'm a very inspiring girl? No, <laughs> not at all, you know, but when I take care of myself, I have that deep breathing in, in you know, uh, because I take care of myself, I'm able to, sh to, 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 to show my light and, you know, to, to, to bring that fire, you know, uh, inside of me uh, very high. And I think it's exactly what I what what you see as a mirror of yourself when you see myself and we have that conversation and you say that you find it you know good right and we have that chat together. It's because what I reflect is exactly what you have in yourself. Mm. But put that in in a company, you know, times one hundred. It's exactly how powerful we can be. Wow. Genevieve, the lighter of light. I love it. So going forward, you know, we're just kicking off 2021. What, um, what's, uh, what's going on in the future? What do you want to see in the coming year with your businesses, with your companies? I hope uh, that we can reach expense instead of performance. Uh, I wrote an article uh, on that in French uh, that it will be published in the next few weeks uh, with the difference of excellence, you know, and performance. For me, performance means, of course, objective indicators and you reach that goal and you, you know, and you, you do the same thing all the time because to be, to be sure to perform, you have to take, you know, the path 
that is already there. Excellence uh, with the literature and what I, you know, I figured about, it's more global, it's more holistic, it's, it's, it's an intention. We want to, you know, reach higher uh, states of consciousness, awareness, be able to serve well our clients, you know, be able to uh, share our success with our employee, not only with words, but with money. I hope that I will be able to do that very soon, you know, because it's, it's, to share what what I have, it's the best way to have more. <laughs> I love that. And, and what kind of clients do you want to work with in the coming year? With what type of people do you want to share all of this wonderfulness? I hope to work with leaders that will be able to be a, a good um, transmitter. I don't know if I have the right word, yeah, yeah. but but. Uh, you know, I want to. I don't want to be alone to share that message. I I know that I'm I'm already not alone. But the the more I will be able to work with people that will share in their own words in their own light the same kind of message, the more we will be able to uh, I will say transform or actually be able to uh, take advantage of the opportunity that COVID gives us, it's to reflect on ourselves. You know, we, before COVID, we were in the era of the extrovert. I'm pretty sure that we enter in the introvert era where we have to look at ourselves. And I'm a huge extrovert, you know, I, and I think it's obvious, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but, I, I like the fact to uh, have more time, more silence, more, uh, I will say, uh, I give myself the permission to go inside myself and to find the light inside of me instead of uh, searching for spotlight to uh, unlight me uh, during, you know, conferences or trainings or whatsoever so beautiful that's very inspiring i love it well look um as we're coming towards the end of our time together oh, i love to end these interviews asking people aside from work aside from the amazing stuff that you're doing what do you do for fun uh, actually um I, you know what i used to play a lot of music but as a, not as a professional, but as a, a, a young child, I used to play a lot of music, uh, kind of professionally. Yeah. And uh, I lost with this the I would say that the the how to play. I lost that. Okay. And I try since November to you know. To, to just go deep inside of me to find what what kind of things I can do for fun. And uh, I start to play chess, of mm. course, yes, with the Queen Gambits thing, <laughs> uh, with my kids, and they are better than I. So they challenge me because I just I just begin, you know, I just don't know how to do this. And I just learn. I just play uh, on my cell phone during the evening to be able to be deaf, you know, and so I start to have fun, but I, I'm, I'm at that point in my life to rediscover how to have fun. So uh, I always thought that I have fun doing everything in, you know, in my work as a mom, as you know, but now I want to have fun for the pleasure to have fun. And I learning that. So awesome. I think a lot of us get so wrapped up in our, the work we do, the things we have to do, the things we need to do. And it's so important to pause and ask that question of like, what lights me up? What do I want to do? And I'm 
I'm really impressed with you taking that time, that space to ask that question. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, look, Jen, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. So inspired by the work you do, so inspired by how you're combining this yogic philosophy with practical business um, and really excited for the transmitters of the world to hear you and to be inspired to share their message too. Thank you so much, Lisa, for this conversation. Uh, you know, it's bring me up. So we exchange some very good energy. And I hope everyone who will listen to uh, this conversation will be, uh, you know, inspired by our, uh, what, what we had to say.